Hello, this is Pamela. Welcome to my channel. Grab you a cup of coffee, sit back and relax, and enjoy some yarny goodness. We are headed to, what's the name of it? Gary's Sling Blade Diner, right? Okay, we are headed to Gary's Sling Blade Diner. We're gonna get some in fridge fried taters. <laughs> Arkansas Woodcutter, I was watching his channel, uh, trying to look up some, maybe like... Don't get some mustard on them. I was watching Arkansas Woodcutter's channel, looking to see if he had any videos on how to can, um, you know, stuff. <laughs> and, um, like cucumbers and tomatoes and things like that, because I'm wanting, I don't know, I guess I'm getting old, so I'll, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I was wanting to uh, see about canning, so I went to his channel to see if he had any videos. But I found one of his channels, he was talking about this Arkansas's best catfish. And I was like, okay, well, he doesn't live that far from me, so it's got to be somewhere close. So I watched the video, and it was called Gary's Sling Blade Diner. And apparently, this diner was in that movie Sling Blade, and it showed some posters and stuff. Well, anyway, the fish looked really good, so. Um, we are on our way. We're fixing to go try it out. And of course, you know, I brought um, I brought my crochet. I'm working on my Lacy Mint Poncho. Pam from Pamela's Crochet and Knit Corner. She's already finished hers. The Community Coral is her color. And my color, I had that one in my queue to make. Um, but the one I'm starting out with is the Mindful Mob. And I am using my K Furls Hook from Ryan. Thank you, Ryan. Um, so this is the first project I get to use for this hook. So I'll show you some, uh, guys, some updated pictures. I'll show you what the fish looks like and all. Okay, guys, it was really good. And I'll insert some clips here so you can see uh, what we ate and uh, come home with a chocolate milkshake. So, hun, what did you order? Hot catfish and hush puppies. <laughs> and some French fried tater. <laughs> Hello, and welcome to Pamela's Adoring Crochet. I am so glad to have each and every one of you here today. And, um, Today's video is mostly to show off my shawl <laughs> and um, to show off maybe a couple of items. Well, one item that I finished and a little bit of yarn that I found at Michael's. So I will start off with this. Um, this is the shawl that I designed. It's uh, called the Mermaid Shawl. And um, I will try to do the tutorial for this uh, Wednesday. So I will try to do a tutorial for this on Wednesday, like the 29th. And um, so today's video is just to kind of um, show it off and um, show a few other things that I got. So here is the mermaid shawl. And here's the back. There we go. So um, here it is. Anyway, so, yes, I'm so excited. I hope you guys are as excited as I am. So, uh, we all love shawls, and um, so, yeah. So, um, I've got a few people that I want to say thank you, um, and I'll do that in another video. So, um, but yeah, so I just wanted to show that off. Okay, so what I use for it, so if you're gonna decide that you wanna make this, I use Mandela yarn, and it is a three weight, and I used Mermaid is the color. Um, I did color control a little bit, um, as you can tell, because um, this turquoise, it like, uh, how do you say it? It started like right in the middle of the white, and so it was like in your face that you couldn't, it wasn't one of those subtle changes. 
And so I did have to color control uh, the white parts of it, but the rest of it, I just let go, you know, to do their own thing. <laughs> but yeah, when it seemed like whenever it involved the white part of it, um, it was just like in your face bold change. And so, yeah, so I did have to color control that. And here's what I had left. And obviously there is no white. I would like for a little bit of white to have been up in here, but they're just, I didn't know how much I was really going to like that white. And, um, so it'd been nice to have a little bit of white up here, but it's okay. You know, um, these are self-striping yarns anyway, but yeah. Um, so I did one and probably a half. So here's like what I have left of it. So it doesn't, it does take more than one. If you want to just do a Charlotte, uh, one will be just fine. But, um, a Charlotte to me, um, it's just too small. So, yeah. Now, wait a minute. A Charlotte is not too small. I did not want a Charlotte. <laughs> okay, let me do that again. <laughs> That's a blooper there. <laughs> okay. One cake of this will make a Charlotte. There you go. <laughs> but I did not want a Charlotte. I wanted a shawl. So, I end up getting into another one. That's why I always say when I buy these Mandela's, I like to have two colors is because I like the option of being able to make a more of a full size shawl. So, uh, yeah. So there we go. <laughs> um, so here is the pattern that you will, uh, that will be coming out. I don't know where I'm going to actually, uh, put this written pattern for you guys. Um, because it's a YouTube tutorial. I do have a website that's for my dog clothes and I have patterns there. So I don't know how weird that might be. I guess you guys can let me know what you think to actually have a spot where I have some stuff like this, you know, uh, the tutorials that I put out that uh, are my written patterns that are not, are not my dog clothes. So maybe on my blog, I can add a little section, non dog clothes patterns or something. <laughs> So maybe you guys can help me with that. You can come up with a name for that. Otherwise, I don't really know where to put this so that when you guys uh, decide like, hey, I want the written pattern where, you know, you'll know to go get it. Otherwise, it's just a tutorial and you have to write it down. So yeah, I guess I gotta get that figured out by Wednesday. So it's probably good if this is going out today so that you guys can leave comments and tell me your suggestions on that. <laughs> Okay, so I used an H 5.0 millimeter hook for this. Um, and I showed you the yarn, Mandela. And I still have not got my Walmart yarn in. Um, okay, so the one finished object I have, and I'll have to leave the link below. I've already put the pattern up, but there it is. There's the donut mouse. And there's the little tail. <laughs> I just think it's so cute. Um, I saw this from Summer, uh, Summer's Tips and Stitches, and uh, she made one, I think, for some of her nieces and nephews and stuff, and um, I just thought it was so cute. I had to have one, too. So, I printed out the pattern, and uh, I made it, and it didn't take very long to make at all. So, so guys, while I was at Michael's today, look what I found, and it's from Annie, so I probably could have just ordered this online, but it was in the store, and looky, guys, I want to make this. I want to make this, this blanket, these placemats. I mean, this book is awesome. So I've already been digging through there and looking around. Um, look at the pot holder. <laughs> so I'm not much of a Halloween person, but it's like when I saw this, I was like, oh my gosh, I really like that. Look at this right here. That's pretty cool. So, yeah. Anyway, so I found that book and I'm pretty excited about it. Okay, so the other thing that I found was some of this. And here we go. The colors aren't anything that great, but um, they were marked down $2.97, uh, regular from $5. Uh, it's Loops and Thread, Kaya, K-A-I. So, 
It says machine wash and dry. Um, I don't know. It looks like it says you can make this blanket right here with three balls. So if you could, that would be cool to make the blanket and then turn around and use the fourth one like for some little baby booties and a hat or something like that, you know. So this is a three light, uh, 308 yards. So yeah, I thought it was, you know, pretty neutral. It looks like it has some, um, like some mint green and stuff in there, some other colors. Anyway, so I gra I grabbed those. Um, I really like this. This one is for me, <laughs> um, right here. And it reminds me of the puzzle yarn. I'm like, told my husband, I said, that looks just like my puzzle yarn, but it's in pink. So they only had two. I really wanted like several more of these. So I'm gonna maybe look online, see if they might have any, but it's, it says it's Barcelona. Loops and thread, it was marked down to $3.97, and it's a five bulky. And the color is pony, I guess. And it takes a six millimeter hook, um, 328 yards. But yeah, it reminds me of the puzzle yarn, but I have not seen uh, pink before like that. So anyway, so I grabbed that. Um, so guys, I guess that's all that I have for this. Um, oh, hold on just a minute. Okay, so I'm going to read what um, is our scripture for today. I have not looked at it, so I don't know either. Let's see. Remember yesterday, it was Please Send Friends. Okay, so this one says, it, the title is Fully Committed. It says, Devote yourselves completely to the Lord our God, walking in His statutes and keeping His commandments. As at this day. 1 Kings 8.61. I like that. So I hope this has in, inspired you. And um, I hope everything about my video has inspired you. Because I want to inspire you. by um, and, and encourage you by God's word. But I want to also inspire you on your creativeness. Uh, you know, get out there and try new things. Um, obviously that's. But seems like that's about all I'll do is try new things. Um, but yeah, just get out there and just grab you some yarn, grab you a hook, find you a tutorial and just go for it. You know, I do everything uh, stitch by stitch. <laughs> so I, anyway, I hope, I hope I've have helped you guys. So um, yeah, that's all I have for this video. So I will see you in my next video. Thank you and have a blessed week.